So who your, hot right who, now. who your top five male artists in Milwaukee? Um. All right. So now we on to females. Uh, uh, top five female artists in Milwaukee. Uh, I tell them like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. I tell them like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down, man? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we rocking with your boy, man. Thank you for coming to the show, man. Good, man. Appreciate you for, for having me, man. For shit show, man. So introduce yourself, man. Yeah, man. My name Rod Dave, man. I go by the name Rod Dave, one of them mo most emerging Milwaukee artists right now, man. Man, it's a long time overdue, man. Yeah. Cause Man, I, uh, I've i been trying to get in contact with yeah. you, man. It's been a year, two years or something, man. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, we've man. been working like yeah, a little man. we just been, we wasn't, you know, connected yeah. a little bit, man. It's my fault, yeah. too, man. You <laughs> feel me, man? Yeah. So, uh, like, tell us what's going on, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself before we get to the 10 questions, man. Yeah, man, I, I'm i a Milwaukee rapper, for one. An uh, artist, Milwaukee artist and shit like that. One of the, the hottest artists is coming out of Milwaukee right now. Emerging, you know, all over the place right now. Music doing numbers, you know, work speaking right now. All y'all got to do is Google Rod Dave, R O D D A V. Man, it's going to speak for itself. Man, and your show speak for itself, man. If you yeah. ain't never been to a show but this, yeah. man, like, duh, I'm talking about audience engagement at this point. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, I've been so, working on it. I've yeah. been working on it. Man, so. listen, Rod Day, Rod Day, the whole crowd be like, yeah. Rod Day, <laughs> Rod Day. So yeah. speaking of that name, so like where did that name derive from? How did how did you come about that name? That's it's actually my real name. It's um the first initials of my my first and last. My my real name is Roderick Davis. What? Yep, so he I just, just took, took the initials geez. from yeah, from That's each, easy, from each. Man. I took the initials from the first and the last, and he got Rod Dave. You ain't throw no young or nothing. It's just all natural, no, no, no that cap, shit, man. That shit was all natural. It been, it been that anyway. Facts, man. facts, right. man. So, yeah. uh, so tell us your story, man. So how did, how long you been doing this music? Like, how, how did you come about being an artist? I know I've been doing cool. music for like, shit, since I was 11. I'm 32 years old. 11. Yeah. What was I've you doing in 11, man? Like, you was in a lab. You know, like, you know, like, I was basically ref reflecting on my life. Mm -hmm. Shit that I was seeing, you know, I came from a, a poor household when we was younger. You, nice. know what I'm you remember your first rap? Nah, I don't <laughs> think so. I know, it, I know, like, I, I never knew how I got this shit. I just was doing it. I didn't learn from nobody. Right. Now, I've been motivated, inspired by, you right. know, um, like, Baby Drew Neal, man. You know what I'm saying? The 21st facts. Century Riders, Money Eyes, people like that. Facts, facts, man. Right. Shout out to, man, R.I.P. Money Eyes, yeah, man, yeah, man. All them names, eyes. man. So, like, so what's your writing process? What's your process? Like, you go in the studio, you write, you freestyle. I go, like, I basically play off, I'm an energy type person. So, it be, it be depending on, it depend on what frequencies I'm on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm, like, in the angry, angry space and I'm telling myself not to do something, I, I'll kind of project it into music. Right, right. Instead of like going into action, like at this age now, you right. know what I'm saying? Because I really just started back doing music like three years ago. So three years beyond three years ago, I, I didn't have no music. I, I never did no shows, none of that shit. Never had no videos out. Never really recorded in another studio like that too much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I just started taking it serious for three years straight. I've been consistent. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, who your who your engineer? Who you uh, where you recording at now? Um. Right now I'm dealing with uh, Studio Forty One. Okay, bet, you know what bet. I'm saying so that's one of my favorite engineers. Bet. Verse, that's don't one drop the engineer name, yeah, man. Yeah, Verse, that's one of my, you know, what I'm saying Econ Verse. Yeah, facts, facts. So, uh, so what made you become a, a music artist? Like, how did you, how did you? Start um, to be honest, I really wasn't. I really wasn't never attending to be no music artist. It was just something that I just liked it though. You know what I'm saying? Like some that. I, I kind of understood at a younger age that it was something like therapy. Yeah. The music was like therapy and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I always used the music as therapy. Okay. So, you know, if you listen to a lot of the music that I put out, 
you go my shit is all it be more of a direction storytelling then you know right to the right to the point type type of music like right. it's always mm-hmm. subject into it and yeah, substance right. in the music Right. Because of what we go through. So, so tell them where to find you at, man. Like I know you got, uh, you just you just dropped a whole little project. Did that project drop right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've been dropped. We had like forty five thousand streams or some shit. Jeez. We probably got, but some of them songs got like a half a million streams. Like head down. I got a song hey, called Head Down. It's like a, it's like at five hundred thousand streams. Um, Facebook stream, music streams, all that type of shit. Instagram. You know what I'm saying, but. That's uh undeniably underrated. You know what I'm saying? Right. That been out for about like a, like since like August, I believe, or a little bit before a month before August. Yeah, it's nice. Doing, it's doing numbers. I'm just doing promotion and yeah, and you know, um, learning more. Yeah, know, I heard you say something about you had that. Not to cut you off, I heard you said you had like a you went on a hiatus. So like that's the that's the learning curve. So with that said, like what is something that you know that that you wish you knew five years ago now? Um, marketing. Marketing <laughs> is king. I preach that all day. Yeah, man. I marketing is. I, I, I would have. So give us some gems, man. Like, dude, give us some gems. Get best of the best of gems, man. Because. Well, basically, shit. What I've been learning, you know, for the last three years is is marketing and funding. You know what I'm saying? So marketing is how you get the traffic and how you get engaged fans and. You know, and if you don't grow a fan base, which which come through marketing, mm-hmm. you just gonna you gonna be marketing twenty four seven. If right. you don't grow a, a real fan base, it just help you with direction. It help you grow your fan base and shit like that. Right. Then on the road of doing music, it helped me learn about funding and stuff like that. So right. I learned to start using my my credits my credit score. My personal credit score and shit like that Jeez, to hit the you banks. Talk, bro. Yeah, to hit the banks and shit. And you know, using my EIN, the Duns, Duns and Bradstreet uh, numbers and shit. Business credit, man. Yeah. Listen. To really fund it. So I've been really going on a mm. on a on a spiritual trip with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just right. finding a way to like fund this shit at one, at a, right. on a big amount. I'm yes. talking about two hundred. Ultimately, you are a brand. You yeah, are that yeah. Entity, so man. so it's basically. The music shit ain't shit. I got the game on the music and all that. My thing is marketing. Yeah, fact. And I and you know like and that's I, crazy. Like uh, we gonna stay on that same yeah. subject. I'm cutting you off again. My yeah. bad. But uh, uh, a lot of people don't realize that a business when that a business that fails, they have the 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 lowest budget in marketing. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize yeah. that you gotta implement. A lot of your revenue into marketing, mm-hmm. and people don't realize that. But yeah. continue, man. Like I just that's why it. I tell a lot of a lot of Milwaukee artists with the attitudes that they think that they deserve. With the next Milwaukee artists that ain't, it's really not about talent. This shit is ninety percent business and ten percent talent. She. So that's why a lot of people that you might think you might think in your head they don't deserve to be where they are, but they work harder than you. Facts, 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 yeah. So that shit be, it be, it's and marketing. And I know what you just said behind the curtains too. We was talking behind the scenes, yeah. man. And, and your network too, bro. Your network is crazy, yeah. man. Like, yeah. like, man, like you, you blowing up. And I was like, I, I'm watching you and shit. But a lot of people, they watch you and they think they could step in your Jordans and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them Jordans crazy you got up too, yeah. bro. But they think they could step in your Jordans and shit, but they don't yeah. know what you got going on behind the scenes and right. shit, man. Yep, so. and it's like, you know, I say knowledge beats all that shit. You know, knowledge beat all that shit. Knowledge beat money. Knowledge put you in a room that money can't buy your way Jeez. in. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. So I that like shit, it is it already, shit be, man. It should be like, it be really... It be really just learning direction. So once you got the direction, it, it might take a little longer to do shit, but as long as you got the direction, you can progress every day. Facts. Like facts. whether it's doing some free shit or it might cost a couple dollars. Just yeah, you just build a brick a day. Yeah, what I say, build a brick a day. Damn, every twenty four hours, man. Yep, until you look up and got your a brick wall type shit. <laughs> facts, facts, <laughs> man. Man, we rocking with your. In case y'all just tuning in, man, we rocking with Rod Dave, man. We got ten questions for him, man. We gonna tune in. I see you fucking with Caviar too, man. Shout yeah. out, I got some. I got some rocking with them, man. Yeah, that's my Shout family, man. Yeah, that's crazy, that's man. And congratulations on your OG award. I appreciate you, baby. It's an OG award recipient. 
if he is, man, yes, to sir. another, man. Yeah, you feel third, me? That's like my third one, fourth one. Jeez, man. One Marketing, one. man. Like, he out here, man. This man don't come outside unless it count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel me? I don't go, no, I don't go nowhere unless yeah. it count. Facts, it's, man. It's like really controlling the value of yourself. Yeah, facts. So some people you don't want to oversaturate yeah. yourself. My yeah. fucking see too much, they be like, oh, that's... But it's a brand, so yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, facts, yeah. facts. And we're going to get back to these other questions when we get back, y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut I tell them, my sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Yeah. yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut I tell them, my sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, man. Yeah, man. In case y'all just tapping in, man. We were Rod Day, Mistress Chestnut Checkers, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying, man? So, um, like, yeah, man, we just talking behind the scenes, man. And, uh, yeah, we just talking about, like, you know, like, taking the taking hiatuses and sitting back, man. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's your take on that, man? Um, It's, it's just about the direction of me. You kind of can... If if you do your homework on everything, you can you can see it from the beginning to the end. I promise you, like, and all they be do, only thing they can stop that shit from happening is yourself. Right. Like you can really see some shit from when you got vision. It's important to have vision anyway. But once you get direction and you do your homework on everything, you can really see that shit from the beginning to the end. So it kind of take the the anxiety away. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying. Like, you know, so that's that shit be really. Really be how you take some anxiety away. Anyway, write yeah. the shit down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Study yeah. it, get it off your brain, and, and then you got brain. a purpose, man. Yeah. So you just not out here running around and yeah. Man, yeah. You ever yeah. went? You ever went somewhere, man, and and just and been there, and you came home like, bro, that was a waste of time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> I mean, every. I mean, like once you once you open up when you ain't got no when you ain't got no direction. That yeah, is, when yeah. you got direction, it be like that. Yeah, but once right. you once you already know what you want to do and shit like that, you be you, you basically you, you basically sitting sitting and waiting for that time to happen. You you still putting in labor on the way. You know what I mean on the way there, because you got to put in labor. No shit just don't fall out the sky. Yeah, facts. But you put in labor and then wait for certain shit to happen. You, Certain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts, facts. Like, like this interview, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And always, I always yeah. tell people, like, I supposed to be doing a lot of features with people and shit like that. I be like, I'm like one of the, one of the people that be that tell you, like, we we gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying, but I ain't, I ain't tell you exactly when <laughs> because there's so much other shit going on. Yeah, but right. you know, like black people, they when you, they want some shit to happen, like they want to happen. No, but they don't, they don't be having no direction with it. You be yeah. like, bro, like, all right, I'm gonna do it, but. Afterwards, what what you gonna do with it? Right, what we gonna do with yeah? It? yeah. So yeah. that's sometimes that's what that's what mean the the perfect timing. That's that's what that shit mean. Right. Even though you don't wait for it's never a perfect time to do some shit, but it is. And so while we on this same subject, bro, of uh, of failing and wasting time, bro, tell me about a time you failed but you like overcame it. Shit, um. Man, I feel I feel a lot. Shit. I feel a lot. <laughs> Just I give me had, one time. I done had, man. I done had like fifty thousand at one time. <laughs> well, I done had way more than that. Jeez, but I done lost that bro. shit. Oh I, man! Oh man! Wait, what? Yeah, I done had over that though. Shit, and my mom was on partying and shit, partying. You know, clothes, couple cars here and there. You know, really living instead of. Taking it to put into music, yeah. Cause right now, to what I know, the dad would have took that shit and I would have been blew up. But I guess you, the fuck ups help you become who you is. I guess it's facts, you facts, man. Cause hey, once you once you touch that, you can't you can't be like bro, ten cool, bro. You 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 know you got to get back to that. Yeah, it ain't. You, you want more now? Yeah, you want more. It really now. ain't shit because that shit like I'm talking about a thousand dollars, like a hundred dollar bill to a, a duck. <laughs> yeah, right. Man, that shit, Especially you know, with inflation shit. right now, man. Yeah, what? and you got responsibilities and shit like that. That shit don't be nothing. So uh, what? Like, all right, so man, listen, man. I it's rare that I have an artist. No disrespect to everybody who came on here, but it's rare that I have an artist. They come on here talking about the importance of marketing, mm -hmm. and so like, what resources uh, would you recommend to grow like a fan base, um, or, like pretty much to fund your career? You kind of touched on it. You got, you got. It's it's three levels of marketing. You got digital marketing. You got 
ground you got networking networking is 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 another ground it's a third ground of marketing which a lot of people don't do a lot of motherfuckers think they could just sit yeah, on it a, a lot of people think they could just sit on the yeah. internet yeah. and just that shit gonna come to them right. but just you know you still got to get out there and introduce yourself as an artist that's marketing you know what i'm saying then you got you got ground marketing which a lot of people don't do these days everybody really focus on you digital. know social digital yeah. marketing yeah but you got social marketing, you got you got digital marketing, then you got um, networking, and then you got foot marketing, which is putting posters up, hitting shows, open mics, you know, moving around and shit like right. that. So I say, like a for for one, a lot of people got to work on on ads, learn how to set them up and shit like that. A lot of people make mistakes setting their ads up. Shake up. up on that. I got to touch a guy's yeah. hands on that one. Fact. So Fact. that's a. As is another thing, you know what I'm saying? Learning your audience, learning how to um, learning how to really get in control of, of your analytics and shit like that. So you can know, you really know where your people at, where the people at. That's how you tour and shit like that, using your analytics. You ever you thought know? about managing, bro? Yeah, I'll I, I be on it. Say to the mic, bro, because we yeah. on you. We on your ass, boy. I'll yeah. be on it, though. I'll be, on, I be managing the shit that I do. So I know, like, it's a lot of shit that I'm I'm gonna end up doing in the future. But right now, I'm just really focused on me because it's, it's I, I got the vision right now. If you were to manage, who you who, who would you manage in this city, man? Like, um, like I'm alley ooping another question with this one. Um, that, that's 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 kind of a shots fired too type uh, of question, ain't it? <laughs> like, uh, like Pablo, yeah, uh, Joe Pablo. Oh, yeah. Marijuana uh, XO. Yeah. Yeah, I market the hell out of them niggas. Man, them, you know what I'm saying? Chicken. Man, y'all tap in, man. My mm -hmm. boy Rod Dave talking Yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm still learning shit, so mm -hmm. I ain't all the way there. Yeah. But I'm to the point to where you fat, you like, I'm, you, I'm, 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 wanna, I'm a one man army by myself, so I do all my own shit. I didn't I know that, bro. I'm glad we have this conversation, bro. <laughs> yeah, I do everything myself. Hey, thing I you do. see this nigga out, bro. This nigga be like, yeah. What up? Bro, man, like, yeah, yeah. I don't, I ain't like, you don't know what's, I'm glad we picking your brain, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm talk. I ain't talking to you. That's just like <laughs> direction behind you. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of try to do everything with substance. Yeah, facts. So you, you is, you is, you, um, you is smarter and important as the motherfucker you talk to for nothing. You know what I mean? So I don't be talking to no motherfuckers just for nothing. You know, you got to really. You gotta read that's all that shit got something to do with energy, man. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm yeah, so man, I, that I shit. I pay attention is, to energy. You consume that shit. Yeah, too, you, you really can get it, you really can consume it right there on the spot. Right. Bullshit. You so know you just talk about some artists that you would market, man. So Yeah. It's a handful of artists though. Like them just like some people that's so that's your, hot who, right now. Who your top five male artists in Milwaukee? Um Brad Facts. Jeez. Uh e not, and not in that order in the order or no, it ain't no order. No order. Copy that. Uh Brad Facts. Econ verse. Um I fuck with I fuck with I fuck with chicken. You know what I'm saying? Marijuana XO and Joe Pablo, they is one. Jeez. Oh, okay, that's the one. Yeah, that's one. Them, these who I rock with in Bud G. Jeez, shout out Bud, man. Yeah, them like I got. I like a lot of other people too, but these like the people that I be that keep me. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, facts. they keep my keep my eye and my attention because they work ethic. Yeah, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying shit like that. All right, so now we on to females. Uh, uh, Top five female artists in Milwaukee. Uh. See, you Mr. know this nigga. You know Mr. this nigga don't like talking. He just yeah. yawned in the middle of our interview, man. Yeah. <laughs> this Misty. nigga said, "All right, yeah, top, five, top five okay. female artists in Milwaukee." Be my bad, Misty, Mystique from uh, Mystique, Mystique from Mystique. Beauty of the Beast. She's shout yeah. out Mystique, man. Yeah, she 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 a big shit talker. Animal too. Yeah, she, she a big shit talker. Yeah, Shade of Boo. That's my girl. You know. Hold on, Mystique, Shader Boo. Um, I think Miss Loyal, Miss Loyal, Miss Loyal. Uh, Checkmate, gorgeous. Checkmate, gorgeous. 
Jake May Gordon. And there's some other ones. That's my name. Who is and uh Destiny Land. Destiny Land. Yeah. Jeez, not in that order. Yeah, not in not it doesn't even matter what order. That's crazy. It just, man. I, what not, female artist would you market? Uh Destiny Lynn. <laughs> Destiny Lynn. I and I'm saying like the these all the people that I'm seeing, it's easy to market them. You can see you, you know, and you, you gotta have vision. a vision. You gotta have a vision to market people. Yeah. So you can already see the vision. I believe in what they doing already. Man, yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with shit they doing, but yeah. I believe in it. You know what that, I'm saying? It's so easy. Like they make me believe in where they taking it. Yeah, facts. Destiny Lynn, one of the people that make me believe in where she taking that it. That piggybacks off direction. You are you mm -hmm. talking preacher direction. Direction, the direction whole is time. direction, everything. Man. Cause you gotta know where you're going. That should be the name of your next album, dog. Direction. Thank me later, that is, bro. That's, that might be <laughs> that's <sick>. dope. <laughs> That's I dope. Fuck with it. I fuck with that. <laughs> that's dope, dog. Rod Dave. Direction. Like, sheesh. That's crazy. You take that dog. bitch on the series. So, man, like, you, one, you said you. Two. Damn. Yeah. yeah. That shit to be cold, though. Direction. That's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker standing in the middle of it like a road and shit. Like. Mm hmm. Yeah, that'd be cuz dope right there, bro. So, you a one man army, bro. Like, yeah, you, uh, you crazy, bro. I, sheesh, bro. Like, I feel like you interviewing me, nigga. Oh. <laughs> uh, so like, like who influenced you, man? Like what? Like who do you look up to? Like not look up to, but like who do you like look at to look forward to or look at for a direction? Like, I'm really I'm to be honest. When I was younger and shit, I say about like 14 and shit like that. I I really start learning myself and shit. You know, like that they call you opening up your third eye type shit or whatever. I start I really don't pay attention to the shit that everybody else do. That's that's the that's what helped me become more original, you know? Right. So like when I do music, I don't write I don't listen to other music. I don't listen to no fucking you don't music. Listen to nothing I don't listen like to nobody change else. Change up music. your flow and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be, I don't I don't got no problem being inspired, but I don't want to be inspired when it comes to music because it's just that's what creates the originality and everything. Mm. So I block out everything, mm. all the I don't listen to shit. Literally, like I'm a music head, but I don't listen to music like that. If it makes sense, like I really don't listen to because I'm always thinking new. Yeah, fact. That shit helped me become more creative. It helped me create. If I'm, you know, I be riding, I don't even listen to music while I'm driving. I fuck around to get the rapping and create some shit mm -hmm. just off of what I see. Fact. And I learned that shit from Lil Wayne. Like, uh. <laughs> I ain't yearning. I'm in the car. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to make it. But, but yeah, though, that I learned that shit from Wayne. Though, like, uh, he said he don't listen to no, he don't listen to nobody else's music. Yeah, fact. So that's how he become, you know, su super original and fucking with his deliveries and yeah. all that. And I got like at least I got like fifteen different deliveries that don't sound like nobody. So I play with the styles yeah, and the I'll be lyrics hearing and shit. Like, yeah. They don't sound like nobody else shit. You yeah, know what I'm nah, saying? They don't. But they're just playing with, just playing with my own mind. Yeah, fine. I'd be high sometimes, yeah, fucking in my it, head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She had you like. I was gonna yeah. say that's why you coughing out here. It's yeah. still like some weed at Beyonce out right. here. <laughs> yeah, I have some right. smoke. But yep, yeah, that shit just. So who? So is Wayne that influenced you? No, he like as far as that little scene right there. But like my. My influence is more home based. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, Baby Drew, uh, the 21st Century Riders and shit. You know, when they was out, Mike G and them. Uh, Wait, what? Wait, hold on, ESG. hold on. This, these names I've never heard of. Man. Yeah, you gotta they, school me, bro. They was, like, they was like, uh, the 21st Century Riders is it's a head full of people that Doc, Doc Holiday and them used to fuck with and shit. I used to, I used, I'm inspired by Doc Holiday shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shout out Doc, man. Money eyes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before he was the uh, big guala, I was that's the first person I ever been in the studio with. Doc, you owe me some interviews too, man. <laughs> like I don't know what happened with that, man. Oh uh, yeah, he owe, he owe me. Uh, he owe, he's supposed to be sending me some music or something. Real? Yeah, me. Doc, you owe both of us, bro. Here, touch my hand while we talking about Doc. We on your ass, yes, man. Yeah, come on, Doc. Send this Doc, where you man. at, man? Man, we need some. Uh, we need a schedule. A doctor's yeah. appointment. Or yeah. Like, yeah, he like Doctor Dre. He, moves, he shit, moving man. too. He moving yeah, too. He, he moving doing, too, he doing his thing too, yeah, though. Facts, facts. I facts. be peeping the Doc yeah, shit. Doc a monster, man. Yeah, but like Doc, um. 
Money Wait, hold on. He said 20, 21st, what was 21st century riders. It was 21st uh, century riders. Yeah, it was they was a uh a Milwaukee group and shit too. Mike up. G and them. They was uh they was rapping with uh money eyes and them and shit like that. Uh, yeah, some of my one of my uncle Hammy for Hammy for fifty five was on there and shit too. So that's a, they probably got some shit out probably on Spotify or some shit. You probably can look that shit up. Copy that. But um it was a lot of that shit. It was a lot of home based mm -hmm. shit. I seen first hand I seen it in my own face. Yeah. I mean, and Tupac, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like see him behind you though. Yeah, Tupac, that's <laughs> one of my you know, I used to love Tupac, mm -hmm. so like real toy. Like my mama, my mama would tell her motherfucker like uh, that, that that boy loved him yeah, Tupac. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? But I yeah. kind of understood. I understood it since then. Who you, who you pick, bro? Pac or Biggie, bro? Um, because they, they they it depends. Yeah. It depends because I'm an artist, so I like lyrically. I go with Biggie, like yeah, battling right. type or some shit. But making music and shit, put it in my car. Mm -hmm. And keeping my attention and everyday music is Tupac. Right. Biggie made music. For, he was like real hip hop ish type yeah, shit. Right. And then. It's crazy because they both from NY though, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, like, Pac had, Pac just had that, he had a soul. See, if you pay attention to music and shit like that, they don't, they don't really care about no. I, I listen to Rod Way before I listen to Jada Kids right now. But, you, but but see if you, if a motherfucker allow you to explain why, yeah, then you understand that it's different. It's different situations for all that shit. Yeah. Ride wave is for the car, for the club and shit like that. Then Jetty Kiss is for the the culture type shit like it's hip hop. Crazy how young they were, bro, as as rappers too, yeah. bro. Like and yeah, I, I mean you could argue this though, but like. Uh, Tupac was beyond his years, yeah. man. So like twenty six when he died. He so was twenty six, bro. Yeah, so like, that he shit. make shit for like the for a grown ass man. This yeah. nigga was living like he was like you would think Pac was like forty, bro. Mm -hmm. Like dog. Like, but that was like a lot of them. That was like Michael Max died when he was young. He, yeah, Martin Luther King was young when he died. Yeah, that was when in their forties. Maybe want to go watch that movie Soul, bro. You said Pac had a soul, bro. You just fucked my mind up with that, yeah. bro. All right, so we finna get to our our segment called Words, bro. So I'm finna uh, drop some words on you. A word or words, bro, and you tell me what you think, bro. Don't ask me no questions. You uh -huh. just tell me what you think. Okay. All right. So our first word. Failure. The biggest teacher in life. Copy that. All right. Next word. Whew. Family. Most important thing in life that's first. That's first, family first. Yeah, family is first. Copy that. All right, next. Love. Love. Never give up on it. Never give up on love. I fuck with that. I fuck with yeah. that. Yeah. I fuck with that. All right, next. The studio. Home. <laughs> Jeez. All right, next. Yeah. I, I can't wait to hear this one. Peace. Um. Peace. Learning yourself. You know what I'm saying? Breaking, breaking away, breaking free, breaking away free from, from you know bullshit teaching. You know what I'm saying? Um. Understanding and balance, all that type of shit brings peace. You know, direction, understanding, and balance. They go that word again, direction. Because yeah. <laughs> it's right. all you know. That's life. Life revolved around that so much. Yeah, direction right. gives you peace. That's yep. what she said. All right, direction, understanding, facts. All right, friendship, not Mortal Kombat either. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Friendship. It's important. It's important, but you have to know who who friends is. You know, some of us like be trying to be be scared to let go, of motherfuckers that's hurting our life. Friends that's that's hurting our life and shit, all because you know. And God won't allow you to 
the level up of nothing with the wrong friends around. They ain't your friends if they the wrong motherfuckers anyway. Who said God won't allow you to level up, oh, man? Yeah. You talking to me, boy? Oh, yeah, the, the, the universe won't. The universe holds you back. It's too though when you hold yourself back. Jeez, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. All right, man. We ain't gonna pick you back. I want to ask questions after these, but we gonna get to the words. All right. Do 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 do. All right. Support. Uh. It started with yourself. You can't, man. Nobody gonna, nobody gonna support you unless you support your fucking self. You know that's that's where the support come in. Supporting yourself, man, you know, and don't nobody support bitching about support drive away the motherfucker that is support. Hold on, say that again in the mic, bro. Um, bitching about support drives the motherfuckers that is supporting away. Basically, you know, that's like wow. disrespecting your supporters, the ones that is supporting. Cause you looking for support. You you want support from the motherfuckers you want it from, but you already get that type shit. My bad, y'all just had to check something out. All right. <clears throat> so this next one is Milwaukee music. Oh, fire. <laughs> Fire, we My up boy, next. We got the best. Turn one. That, look, we got the. Oh, yeah, back, I back. think Milwaukee, I ain't just saying this shit, but we might got the best artists in the world. Yeah. Because right, right. we got all different type of artists. You know, I know like smack music and shit like that is what everybody focused on and shit like that right now. But see, me personally, I, I fuck with all, all Milwaukee music. As long as it makes sense, as long as it got some type of. Some type of direct to it, some type of substance. It could be a club song, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? There's certain shit that I don't really like, but I understand it. Yeah, copy you know what that. I'm saying? Copy I understand that. the marketing behind it. Copy like, that. oh yeah, that's gonna sell. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's, you know, that, that's about it. Bro. bro, you got a dope future ahead of you, bro. I'm just looking at you. Oh yeah. Bro, man, this nigga yeah. is crazy, man. Man, this nigga is crazy, man. So. All right, man. That's the end of our word segment, man. Yeah, 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 <laughs> man, man. We rocking with your boy Rod Day, man. He yes, sir. Yes, sir. Word segment, man. That's crazy, man. He dropped some gems, man. I hope y'all listening too, man, because like this man is uh, crazy, going crazy with the marketing. So, like, what's next for you, man? What's um, next for Rod Day? I'm just, I just launched another business. I ain't gonna say the name and no shit Jeez, like that. He's still said another business. Get yeah. y'all LLCs, man. Yeah, yeah, you Get y'all EINs. I be using the motherfuckers like, you know, you could, you could, you could use the EIN. Just That's you don't even security have security number. Yeah, you, you just use the number, I, and it's legal too. You know what I'm saying? For banking, banks and shit, build your personal. That's another album name too, Legal Bread. Mm-hmm. That shit'd be called too. <laughs> yeah, you build your you just it's it's basically just I use the shit from separating my business from my personal. Copy man. that. So that shit just I mean it's it's big. That shit big, a lot of people gotta get on it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of we weren't taught that shit, so I had to teach myself a lot of that shit. We weren't we weren't taught that we didn't, we weren't financially educated and shit like That's that. That's another album name, self taught. Yeah, self taught. Oh, that shit listen, is. Bro. <laughs> you got to see me. Oh God! Guys, I'm yeah, having bitches roll. You gonna see you? <laughs> you gonna see this shit, bro? Nah, for real, because you know I get right to the motherfucker. Oh God! I do a whole song. A whole yeah, you got scene. the marketing madness, yeah. the analytics, all this shit. Marketing, yeah. bro. You a monster. But bro. that shit, I I had to teach myself this shit. So yeah, I just so I'm newly learned. I newly just learned that shit within the last two years. You know what I'm saying? So now it's to the point to where that's shorter than a, a, a college fucking what is it called? Like you go to college and oh yeah, um, yeah you a uh, course a yeah. college course or yeah something like yeah. But it's it's a it's a it's an unlimited learning thing because you know I learned how to clean credit and all type of shit. You know, chasing music because what my thing was sometimes. When, when the universe take everything away from you, that shit be meant for you to learn some shit. Cause when you doing so much shit, you don't have time to sit back. Yeah. You know, when niggas go broke, that's when the time that they they really sit the fuck down. Right. And, and a lot of people, the, you know what I'm saying? I, I, uh, damn, I keep cutting my boy. I'll keep talking. Yeah, it's bro. good. Keep talking, bro. Okay, that's the that's, that's a lot yeah. of time when a lot of people just get the. You know, gaining a lot more knowledge when they by themselves and shit like that. Right. You know, you got it. That's when you when you find yourself and shit like that. So I got the, I'm trying to find a way to, to fund the music I got 
a couple thousand here and there and shit like that. But now I'm not trying to step back into the streets and shit like that because now I'm, I'm in between picking, choosing the streets or music type right. shit. When you say the streets, man, what street is that in Milwaukee? Man? Oh, shit, the trays. <laughs> I'm off the trades, man. Y'all you know mean, bro. I was off of Hampton, bro. Y'all mean, bro. Oh, yeah, Y'all was mean, bro. <laughs> we, don't, we don't fuck around. We don't fuck around, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wild hey, trades. Shout out, shout out to around. the trades. All my trade boys, trade foe, man. Thanks, bro. Trade you see five, this unity, bro, six, man? man? This yeah. unity, bro. Yeah, I, bro. I like it, bro. Like, y'all, yeah. they don't fuck around, though, bro. Boys. Like, still, don't fuck with the trades. Born and raised over there. But yeah, bro, a lot of a lot of people don't uh don't realize, bro. Like they be like, why you in music? Why you pick this, bro? Because music don't leave you alone, bro. Like no. it's so many avenues, so many di different directions you could take with music, man. Mm -hmm. Like, and you can see, bro, it, it heads you that if you got direction, mm -hmm. it, it it takes you in different directions, and it's ultimately good. Like, yeah, you gotta just never give up. Because if you pay attention, a lot of motherfuckers, a lot of the OGs that's in our city been doing this shit for thirty years plus, Copy and that. they just started to know, yeah, get they shine. I've been watching new niggas for years, so it's like the playmakers for instance. He been a, a marketing guru and yeah, shit facts. like that since Cuckoo Kyle and Drew them. But mm -hmm. now he's starting to get his shine because, you know, for one, we got the internet. That's if we had the internet back then, we probably would we probably would have been on two already. Yeah, facts. But see now the the younger generation. Shout out KB man, yeah, what up boy? The younger generation opening opening the doors through you know. Through the, through the with their talent and shit like that, so it's giving the older niggas jobs too again. So it's like you, you never give up. Like Steve, Steve, uh, Steve loving them. You know they all they all like you know walking testaments. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? I seen them doing shit for years and shit. Now they got. He got, they got motherfucking uh, sh movies, movies out all around. Uh, you keep killing me when you keep saying scene, bro. Like yeah. you. Visually yeah. seen it, like you physically yeah. saw it. Yeah, I like, seen a lot of they. Yeah, I seen right. a lot of they. They a lot of they movement, you yeah, know, right. on the streets. It wasn't no internet, so yeah, you right. was outside. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. You really was outside and shit like that, moving yeah. around and seeing certain people. And right. You you probably don't know. It sounds to me like you got the internet in that chokehold, man. Like, oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm working <laughs> and I'm still I'm still learning. I'm yeah. still learning as far as the internet. I just because you know like. It got you, I, I got good to the point to where I'm getting paid off of all that shit. I'm getting paid money off of Instagram, money off of Facebook. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Off of my content, I can do and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's so I'm learning all that shit and I'm using it. And you know, it's a digital, it's a digital era. So yeah. you got to get big on that shit. Anyways, right. it's easier than if if you. To me, it's easier than um, networking and shit like that. Yeah, fast because networking. You know, you gotta you gotta be you gotta put yourself in a different mindset to network yeah. sometimes. You don't even wanna deal yeah. with people for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, that's when you hire somebody. Hell yeah, that's <laughs> that too. It's coming. Mm -hmm. it's, that shit coming though, but like I say, I do all that shit myself. So Yeah, facts, man. I've been networking and shit. Hey man. Myself. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get hired, you know what I'm saying? Get your business credit, get ultimately get your personal credit. No, but like, no, no bullshit, yeah. man. It was good chopping it up with you, man. Most definitely, I'm, I'm joking. I'll cut you off like five different times <laughs> and shit, man. But it's good talking to you, picking the brain of, yeah. of Rod Dave, man. Rod, that's that name is so marketable, bro. This is yeah. so close to Rod Wave, man. Yeah. I want to touch on that. And that's too. that's a that's like I probably get a lot of I, I probably, backlash. And no, a lot of people probably talk. I don't never get. I probably got a black flash a couple of times, but if he, them same people come back like, oh, okay, I see what. You, like I think that you trying to rap like him or some shit, but your shit, you got no. you the real, real no, rap. Right ain't there. hard finding you, bro. Right, like, yeah. Do, 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 do. yeah, like, yeah. They say you the oh, uh, you the shit real one. up over there on YouTube right now. Yeah. Like, yeah, you could Google my yeah, shit. My shit got shit. that's my name, so Facts. I'm not gonna change it. Shit. Yeah, my no. shit was dead before I even knew who no, Rod was. Not as long as the, uh, the and, crowd screaming Rod Dave, yeah. Rod Dave, like and little dog, like. She, I was in the streets when he was on the uh, in the on in the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, that, my shit was, no, saying he was in the house, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real though, yeah. he literally was, you know. Yeah, because I used because he got a good. He got you know they say 
geniuses think the same, man, sometimes. Copy that. Bro. So, shit, but I never. I, I never, said, I pushed your shit back like yeah. Einstein. <laughs> 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 like, that's a genius. That's a yeah. genius shit. Talking about a genius, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, cap, yeah, bro. yeah. All right, man, we're going to wrap this up, man. We ain't going to keep talking, man, because, we, man, listen, bro. It's hard to get this man to talk, bro, like, for real. <laughs> Man, yeah. you already know what time it is, man. That's yeah. your boy, Sir Quinn. I'm rocking out with. Man, look, ride day, ride day. Man, y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. It's your boy, Sir Quinn. We rocking yeah. out with Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes open for local, global, upcoming, and established artists. And you already know what time it is. Yes, sir. Shh. Shut up and hustle. We out. Shut up and hustle. I tell them, my sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle.